Hey all, Russ here, RV TV. Welcome. Check it out. We're on Highway 12. We're cutting over into uh, towards Montana, but we gotta stop here. I was told about this when I was down in Sturgis. This town is called Marmoth. Marmoth, North Dakota. We're really close to the Montana, North Dakota border. Look at this place. It's a ghost town. <laughs> but, there's supposed to be right up the road here, a museum. So we gotta stop and check it out. And here it is, my goodness. I didn't believe it, I googled it, I seen it. <laughs> this is called Van Horns Antique and Western Museum. Out in a little town called Marmoth. Okay, what's your name? Marvel. Hi, Russ. Pleased to meet you. Okay, well, I'm gonna go wander. You enjoy yourself. Thank you. And when you get ready to go up to the other building, just call her and I'll unlock for you. And you can enjoy whatever, however long you need to. Thank you. There's about 80 cars you'll be seeing. Wow, look at these things, huh? Yeah, they're beauties. They're beauties. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Look at this place. <laughs> My, ah. Uh, I'm just in awe. We've been finding some pretty good finds on these museums. Look at the collection. The guy that owns it is 85 years old and still collecting. He's even been down the court site. I talked to him for a couple minutes. They're constantly looking, constantly collecting all his life. The pictures, I mean, just the effort to lay this stuff out like this. Goodness. Plus, even gets better. They got RV hookups in the back. We'll check that out later. You can actually come here in a rig. They are clean too. This someone this is a huge effort. There's not an ounce of dust on any of this stuff. My goodness. There's that what is that? fire, isn't it? Just a buggy. Just because it's red, I thought it was fire or something. <laughs> oh, man. Just a different world back then. A lot of western stuff here, too. Huh. Amazing. Just to have the foresight to lay this stuff out. I bet every one of these cars runs too. These are climate control buildings. Look at the little car. In the back of the old car. The old truck. <laughs> nice colors. I'm sure they've been restored, but my goodness. Thank goodness. Saving history. What a life to lead to to be able to collect like this. I bet there's a story that comes with every picture, every car. Every knickknack in here, they got coin. Look, old gas pump. 
movie posters. Roy Rogers, go figure. old tools of the day to represent the error of the vehicle. Storytelling without saying a word. Mannequins with the old time clothing. Huh, look at that buggy. Oldsmobile. Horseless carriage or whatever, huh? I like the color of that one. Pretty darn cool. Highway 12 is a pretty major state highway. A lot of people pass through here. Plus, she was telling me uh, bikers come here before and after Sturgis. They got their own little event. I guess there's a park close by and get hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of bikers around the Sturgis time coming through here, too. Wow. Times have changed, huh? All that's gone forever. Even little toy cars. Models. Toy models, I guess. A globe. <laughs> When's the last time you've seen a globe? Old Volkswagen bug. Original one. I remember when them things were everywhere. Plus there's two more buildings to go through. Cool clock, some old uh, glassware, organ. Definitely a must see. Stop in Marmoth when you're out doing your RVing. Old stock bond. Ha. Huh. Cool. Well, what do you say? Let's go uh, wander over to the other buildings. Yeah, I think when I leave here, I'm going to cut over into Montana. Then we're going to start dropping south a little bit. Time to head home. But not yet. Look, they put a Pacific Bell sticker on that old truck. <laughs> Good old Ma Bell and the phone company. That's all changed now, too. No one even has a phone in their house. It's all cell phones. Stagecoach stuff. I've got, those are beautiful. Just restored. Old antique stove. Oh, plus you get a hand dipped ice cream. Included in the price. Look at that. All polished up. Huh. Cash register. All right, let's keep going. There's a new one just came in, gonna be added to the collection. 
It's, it's open. Okay. So just enjoy yourself. All right. I'll come back and bug you before I leave. Okay. Thank you. Some ice cream. Oh, yeah. Ice yeah. cream. Yeah. I'm going to set this so it seems cool. Thank you. <coughs> I'm the only one here. <laughs> Look at these things. Whoa. My goodness, what are these in the 30s, huh? Wow. Completely restored. I don't know if they sell them. They might. If you're a collector, this would be one for you. You want to find one that's fully restored. I bet they sell them. Buy and sell. Life of a picker. Collector. It's pretty interesting he even knew about quartzite. Said, oh yeah, I've been down there. Big old flea market. Heck yeah. Quartzite back in the heyday was a lot different than it is now. You could find old junk like this. Here you go, old Victrolas. Dog listening to the music. Wind them up, play the old tunes. Old time stereos right there. <laughs> Pretty nice. Instead of a record, you got a round cylinder. Had the music on it. What else we got? More cars. <laughs> Antique auto something down that. Even the engines are just spotless. All kinds of oil cans. More model cars. Tobacco cans. Prince Albert in a can. <laughs> well, let's head over to the other building. We still got one more to go. Pretty impressive. Yep, there's their campground signs. I think she said it was like 20 bucks a night. You get hookups. They even got little cabins here. That round Quonset hunt, that's the other building. Let's go out front. They got a big uh, mural picture. We'll get a picture of that. Kind of rainy. Weather's a little different. Actually drove, drove through a little bit of rain that cooled off. Kind of a nice little break. Guess across the street here is where they congregate for the biker stuff. Here's his mural on the building. Ice cream parlor, that's right, we get hand dipped ice cream. Van Horns Western Antique Auto. Pretty impressive. All right, let's go check out that last one.
That's your husband's name? The manager here, her and her husband, who just passed away, created, helped create a lot of this. So Van Horn uh, dedicated this building to him. Wow. Huh. Need a tractor? All kinds of wagons. Look at the wheels. Looks like some N Native American history in here. Old time stagecoach. Horse powered Ubers. <laughs> Goodness. The condition, though, of these. Uh, Everything in this museum is, this guy really has an eye. He don't bring in junk. He really uh, goes for the quality and restores it. This stuff will be here forever if they allow it. Pretty cool. And all these buildings are climate controlled. All about the horses in here. Well, North Dakota, it's famous for farming. This is still North Dakota, not for long. We're getting close to Montana border. Barber pole. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Well, maybe let's go get that uh, hand dipped ice cream, huh? Time jukebox, gasoline memorabilia from gas stations, real ice cream. Two scoops, one's rainbow, the other one's uh, cheese flavored. You never know what you're gonna find unless you look for it on these small towns and back roads. Right here you got Van Horn's Auto Museum, Auto and Western Museum. Back there there's their RV hookups. So you can, this is so RV friendly. Spend the night, wander through the museum, get you a couple scoops of some good old ice cream right here on the highway 12 what a journey let's drive back check out the RV hookups see what he has back here I mean look at the ground this place is just spotless I bet that storage building's this full of uh, antiques. Okay, here you go. Looks like they got a few people here. There's their little cabins. You can rent those. So you got hookups. They got a little shower house here. Kind of nestled in here. A few trees. North Dakota country, right here. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I want to go back into that little town. We're going to check out them old buildings for, before I get out of here. Well, what a good find here. My goodness. Just out here all by its lonesome. <laughs> cool. All right, let's go check out town. Look at these old buildings, they're all boarded up. Sometime in the past, I bet this was one bustling little town. Just full of life. Everything's all boarded up. Pretty windy. Let's go take a walk. First Street. First in Maine, right here in Marmoth, North Dakota. <laughs> Ooh, that was a bank building. Look at that. Wow. Still standing. Too bad they don't restore these. What else we got? Wow, look at those boards. They've been in there a long time. Cactus Club. Bet that was a popular place. Oh my goodness, an old movie theater. Mystic Theater. Now that looks like uh, it's been restored. Maybe someone lives in it. Think it's haunted? My goodness, old cage cell. Oh, restaurant. You can get something to eat here. Look at the birds above the glass windows. It's full of birds in there. <laughs> well, too cool for school. Well, here we go. So long, North Dakota, off to Montana. Journey continues. Talk soon. <laughs>